Item number SCP-4666, Object Class, Keter, Special Containment Procedures. Web traffic and law enforcement channels worldwide are to be monitored for evidence of SCP-4666 activity, and particularly for cases of stalking or reports of anomalous phenomena involving families of young children. Should a wise knocked event be suspected to be in progress, an area's containment task force is to be dispatched to attempt containment. 4666. Standard PDP 8 Humanoid First Contact Protocols apply. Media coverage of family death attributed to 4666 is to be suppressed or falsified to make said deaths appear as non anomalous home invasion murders. Forensic evidence and 4666A instances collected by non-Foundation agencies are to be confiscated and witnesses anesthetized. Description SCP-4666 is currently believed to be a single, exceptionally long-lived humanoid entity of unknown origin. Survivors of Weizmach events typically describe 4666 as a very tall, between 2 meters and 3.3 meters, elderly male of European descent, with an extremely emaciated appearance. The entity always appears completely naked, even when observed outdoors in freezing weather. Though the nature and extent of its anomalous properties remain uncertain, 4666 appears capable of instantaneous or near instantaneous travel to any location north of 40 degrees latitude, possibly to any location on Earth. SCP-4666 activity occurs exclusively within a period of 12 consecutive nights per year. From the night of December 21st to 22nd to the night of January 1st to 2nd, this period is known as 4666 Active Phase. During this phase, in what are termed Weisnach events, 4666 will appear at dwellings in one or multiple locations north of 40 degrees north latitude. In all known Weisnach events, these dwellings have shared the following characteristics. Isolated rural location, home to a family with at least one child at the age of eight, and situated in an area with snow cover lasting throughout the duration of the event. Weisnach events consist of the following general progression. Nights one to seven. Children will report seeing 4666 in the vicinity of their family's dwelling. The entity will typically be observed watching the dwelling from a distance, such as from across nearby field, or from the edge of a neighboring forest. In some cases, children were born waking up at night to find 4666 watching them sleep through a window. Nights 8 to 11. Family members, including the parents, will report hearing foot sounds of footsteps coming from the roof or the attic. An extremely unpleasant odor will also frequently be noticed inside the dwelling. No cause for these phenomena will be found. As a result, parents will often begin to suspect that their family is being stalked or even that their dwelling might be haunted. Night 12. Over the course of the night, one or two scenarios will occur. The first and most common is that 4666 will kill all members of the family, save for one child under the age of eight who it will abduct. 4666 will inflict incapacitating injuries to family members while they are sleeping, and then herd them into a single room of the dwelling where it will proceed to kill them in view of each other. The method of killing varies with the event and will typically be preceded by some form of torture, which appears to serve a ritualistic purpose. See Weisnach events log below. In the second scenario, which has occurred in roughly 15% of known Weisnach events, 4666 will not harm the family. Family members will report hearing footsteps inside their dwelling during the night, though no sign of forest entry will be found. In the 
morning, children will discover presents at the foot of their beds. These will consist of toys crudely crafted from the remains of human children. See SCP 4666A instances log below. The criteria for if any by which F4666 determines the outcome of a knock event are unknown. Notable Weisnach events. Location. Unknown village. Croatia. Year. Circa 1498. Description of Weisnach event. An entire family was killed, with the exception of one of the children, age unknown, who was abducted. Though specific details about the event are not available in a recovered document, it was noted that the killings presented strong paganistic elements and that the family members would need to suffer greatly prior to death. The Archbishop who foresaw the investigation wrote that he believed the family had been killed as part of demonic ritual. Location, Unknown Village, Rupert's Land, present-day Ontario, Canada, 1689. An entire family was killed with the exception of two of the children, one of whom was abducted, and one of whom, female, age unknown, escaped during the killing, be able to reach a nearby village. She told authorities that a naked man had broken into her family's dwelling during the night and proceeded to torture them. Exact method not specified in recovered documents. Upon investigation, the bodies of the family members were found inside their dwelling, hanging upside down from the ceiling. All had been exsanguinated. Eichstadt, Germany, 1930-1913. An entire family was killed, with the exception of the youngest child, male, age three, who was abducted. Bodies of the parents and five other children were found inside the stable adjoining their dwelling. They had been restrained by having knives, pitchforks, and other sharp implements forced through the palms of their hands and into the walls of the stable before having their tongues removed, leading to hemorrhaging and death. Blood from the family members had been used to paint elaborate patterns of unknown meaning on the hides of the mule, goat, and two cows present in the stable. The animals themselves were not harmed. Neighbors told authorities that in the weeks preceding the killings, the father of the family had mentioned finding tracks in the snow around the family's dwelling, which appeared to be made by bare human feet. Ilos, Soviet Union, 1956. An entire family was killed, with the exception of the youngest child, male, age four, who was abducted. The bodies of the parents and one other child were found in the living room of their house. They had been restrained, and their feet held over the flames in the fireplace for an extended period of time, calcinating the tissues of the feet and exposing the bones. They had then had their heads crushed with an unknown heavy implement. Hundreds of bite marks, believed to have been inflicted post-mortem, were found on each of the bodies. Analysis of recovered police photographs has shown that the size, shape, and configuration of SCP-4666 teeth do not match those of a human being or any known animal. Branches cut from a fir tree outside the house had also been placed over the bodies to unknown purpose. Gudnishan, Norway, 1971. An entire family was killed, with the exception of the youngest child, female, age five, who was abducted. The bodies of the parents and two other children were found in the basement of their house. Each had at least one limb pulled off by brute force before being stabbed precisely 39 times with an unknown sharp implement, possibly a piece of bone from one of the removed limbs resulting in massive blood loss and death. The family members had then been eviscerated, and their small and large intestines removed and cut into 30 to 50 centimeters long pieces. These had been arranged in radiating lines around the bodies. Feces from the intestines had been used to trace symbols of unknown meaning on the walls of the basement. Egil Iceland, 1996. An entire family was killed, with the exception of the youngest child, female, age four, who was abducted. The bodies of the parents and seven other children were found inside their house. All had large pieces of skin removed from their backs, necks, and groins prior to death, 
removed skin was found to have been partially consumed. They had then been killed by decapitation with a buck saw that had belonged to the family. Following death, the family members, he headless bodies, had been carried to their respective rooms and placed on their beds. Each of the removed heads had been placed upright on a step of the staircase leading from the first to the second floor, with the parents' heads on the top two steps and the children's heads on the lower steps, in decreasing order of age. Notable SCP-4666-A instances recovered. Nurmis, Finland, 1811. A small wooden drum with two wooden drumsticks of uneven length. Drum skin consists of a 390 centimeter cubed piece of skin belonging to a human child, stretched with a thread made from human tendons. Gallagher, Wales, 1857. A small knife, 15 centimeters in length, blade is 6 centimeters in length, sculpted from a single piece of bone belonging to a human child. Symbols of unknown meaning have been carved into the handle. Kazakhstan, 1903. Flute made from the hollowed out femur of a human child. Holes have been bored at even angles along its length. The femur appears to have been dyed with human blood. Bangor, Michigan, 1960. A wooden box containing 13 miniature human like figures, each 46 centimeters in height. Made from the phalangeal bones of human children, tied together with strips of human tendon. The figurines had been decorated with human's hair and small pieces of torn clothing. DNA testing revealed the remains belonged to 18 separate children. Cape Royal, Canada, 1976. A ball, 23 cm in diameter, made from 19 layers of human skin wrapped tightly around a desiccated head of an unidentified, an unidentified human child, male, aged 2 to 3. Layers of skin are held in place with pine resin. Biard, Netherlands, 2006. The hairbrush. The handle is made of wood and poorly carved. In place of bristles, 46 deciduous human teeth have been set at regular intervals into the handle. DNA testing revealed that each tooth belongs to a different child. Only two of the teeth can match to known abduction victims of SCP-4666. Teeth vary in age from a few days to over 400 years. Discovery SCP-4666 existence and ongoing activity were first detected in 1973 through the Foundation's newly implemented Anomalous Signature Recognition Program. Also known as ASRP, this program marked the Foundation's first use of algorithms as a means of detecting anomalous phenomena when several Highly similar home invasion accidents resulting in family deaths were found to have occurred within the Northern Hemisphere during the night of January 1st to 2nd. Extensive research into civilian and law enforcement archives worldwide eventually uncovered evidence of probable vice knock events for nearly every preceding year, going back to the late 18th century, average of 3.1 known events per year. Numerous historical documents were also found, which appear to describe SCP-4666 activity occurring prior to this period, in some cases as early as the 2nd century AD in Europe and Russia, and as early as the 1st century BC in Scandinavia. Fingerprints belonging to the same humanoid entity have been discovered at the locations of all Foundation investigated Weisnach events. These have matched to a partial fingerprint found preserved in dry blood, on a recorded SCP-4666-A instance dating from 1873. Fingerprints present characteristic were not, not known to occur in human beings. Human-like white hairs were also removed from locations of several vice knock events, though no DNA, human or otherwise, could be extracted from them. Addendum 4666-01 on February 2nd, 2018, several SCP-4666-A instances were discovered of families' residents in Hunan, Alaska, following the conclusion of Eisenach event number 60,198. Among these instances was SCP-4666-A-960, which consisted of a crude life-size doll made from the emaciated body of a female child, 
to which the soil modifications had been made. A dress made from various pieces of dirty, discolored clothing had been sewn around the body and some were places in the body's skin. The mouth had been shown shut and with thread made from human tendons and the lips painted red with solution consisting primarily of human blood. The fingernails of another child had been glued over the body's fingernails with pine resin. These had been painted red with the same human blood-based solution. Three of the body's fingers were missing. The entire scalp and roof from the head, and the scalp of another child with long, blonde hair sewn onto the head in its place. The hair had been tied into two braids. Both eyes had been removed, and two large round pebbles on which eyes had been crudely painted and placed into the empty orbits. Upon examination by the child, by the family, the child from whom the doll had been made was found to be still alive, albeit unconscious. Authorities were notified, and the child was airlifted to Bartlett Regional Hospital in Genoa, Alaska, where she survived for 18 hours. Two Foundation agents were dispatched and were able to interview the sub subject. Following the subject's death, her body was confiscated by the agents, and all witnesses amnestified as per standard procedure. DNA testing revealed that the subject had been Ekaterina Mora. Morozova, age 7, a known abduction victim of SCP-4666, taken from her family to residence in, Do in Dovkovna, Russia, on February 1, 2016. Autopsy of the subject's body showed she had been severely malnourished during the two years following her abduction, which had resulted in considerable stunting. Weight was only 15 kilograms, height was only 90 centimeters. A number of scars and burns were present on her skin, and she had suffered two bone fractures, left tibia and left ulna, that had not been reset and healed improperly. Hands were heavily calloused. The cause of death was attributed to multiple organ failure resulting from severe sustained malnourishment.